Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Isabel. I'm a lifestyle and travel vlogger from the Philippines but currently based in the United Kingdom for my postgraduate studies. Today we're here in Chicago, Illinois. We are going to attend the National Funeral Director Association. Okay, I know that's a mouthful but basically it's the NFDA. Um, convention today we are going to go to the expo and show what goes around in the death care industry no it sounds a bit morbid but you will see some interesting stuff very unusual stuff stuff that you don't normally see every day really happy to go to Chicago this year to go to my second NFDA so I'm going to show you guys what goes around so this is a very sensitive topic but uh, it's something that I think we all eventually face. Don't worry, I'm gonna take you through it step by step just to not, you know, surprise you or anything or scare you. Without any further ado, let's go. Convention Center. It's the largest one in North America. Huge. There's like two other conventions going on here other than the NFDA. I am going downstairs. Um, we're prepping up for the 945 session and I'll see you guys in a bit. So they will be meeting this and I'll head on inside. Two hours later. The seminar's done. Now we're off to the expo. We're gonna see all the not your typical everyday stuff. Everything in this expo is related to death care. So, yeah. Are you in? We are in. This is a huge room. I don't know where to start. Maybe I'll just go with the flow and see whatever stuff there is in here. No idea, but yeah. We're gonna go around in a bit and we want to interview my dad. That. Okay. Hi. Hi. This is there to see Dito sa Expo, sa NFDA Expo. Oh, you'll find uh, different hardwares from, well, you'll find also the equipment, view equipment from caskets to lightings to hearses. Anything about funeral, they have it inside this large hall. We'll be exploring it shortly. Siguro yung mga ibang terms na hindi namin maintindihan, maybe you can put it in layman's terms so that we can understand it better. Sure. Sige. Ayan guys, we're going to eat This memorabilia is made of carpet. You can print your face or your um, departed face in there or your family photo. Put them in pillows or urns. Would yeah. you say yung mga naka-feature dun sa mga pictures, like ito mga urn or mga carpet for example, yeah. are they like um, real customers? Or? They could be. They could be one of their customers that they had their uh, memorabilia made. Okay. Like, like the urns. Yeah. It could be one of their customers. Okay. This funeral service caters to Victorian styled ones or mga old school. They'll have the round shaped ones, big ones, yung medyo pahaba. Ayan, they still do it here. Now, um, mas modern na ang mga funeral services, even the products, so they really kept it up here. This one is a basket casket. Okay, I am not sure what this is. Dad, is this a casket? Yes, it is a casket. It's a metal casket inside a wooden casket. Okay. I don't know how they're they're preserving the body, how, how they preserve the body in olden times. And then this is this is what's new. The cover, the lid of the cover. Okay. And then there's a window or a door, door where you can see the body when you place the cover on top of the casket itself. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the um, earliest forms of... Um... It should be. Okay. Yeah, it says 1800 Undertaker. The Victorian caskets. Undertaker. Okay. But that gumagawa nito sa Philippines, the Victorian this style one, no, funeral they service, don't, they no? Don't make them that. Not anymore. Not anymore. Sir, the yeah, 1800 caskets. The earlier how, times. Yeah, the earlier caskets. Okay. This one, Dad, I assume, uh, sales? I don't know. Yeah, pre need sales. In from, here? From, uh, well, they're mostly cemetery, what they're selling here. So, guys, if you want to get yourselves cremated, there are different kinds of urns here. Example is the cowboy boots urn. A duck urn here. We have an angel. We have a garden angel there. It's pretty neat. So I think you can customize your shapes in whatever urn you want to put yourself in. So for 
it could really depend on the family as well. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Fingerprint of the department can become a pendant. That is so amazing. Is it possible that that the remains can be in here? No, or pendant, or pendant lang talaga siya. I'm not really sure. Too much that's good. You can even make it into a heart. Simply oval shape. Or you can put the letter in there. They've got three books over here. Really helpful. There is no specific method on how you deal with death. There are self-help books that accompany you during um, these times of, um, of sadness, these kinds of books exist as well. My dad actually wrote an introduction to one book there in Manila. I'll link it right there down below so you guys can see it. Oh wait, what is this? DNA Memorial? What is this? Have you heard of this dad, DNA Memorial? That's, that's interesting. You can do a swab of the mouth. Okay. And then the DNA is extracted and then put onto little silicone beads. And with those beads, you can do all types of genetic testing. Um, so if you're a lady, you can check for the, you have the BRCA gene, if that might run in the family. So if you um, tested your mother, then you might know, you know, it's being passed along. Okay. Or if you have any so risk can, of heart disease. You, you can determine um, from both sides. Individually yeah. from your mom and individually from your dad. Correct. Can you that's interesting. Awesome. Um, guys, this is it. It's pretty much mapped over here. I'm going. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's so small. Go. This is it. I'm going. I am so fascinated. So guys, the Kino Expo is huge. Ang daming laman nito from cars to life insurances, pre-need services, funeral services. They're all over the place. So right here in front of me are the hearses. I will ask my dad to explain that in a bit. I think the hearse is just one one of the factors to deliver the, ser the services. What's important is the experience that you're creating, that you may be able to contribute to the family, that you're able to relieve them from the grief that they experience. It's about more, more experience, making it better for them, making it easier for them to accept what just has happened. There's a pink ribbon ngayon because today is Monday. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Day, so meron din yun dito. The car right behind me is your regular Cadillac, and it has been converted into a hearth. Regular sedan. They cut it in the um, bottom, bottom. I mean, the rear part of the vehicle, and extend, making it appear longer, so you can fit the casket from the back. That's for you, that, that side, that's for you, so it's all these are just specifically for urns, yeah, for urns. Okay, and then those are those are cases where you can place the urns on and use this vehicle for interment. Like itong mga to, natatanggal yan sila para pwede going casket. Correct. Nata natatanggal ito, itong dalawa. If there's a pagka casket naman ilalagay, you'll just slide the casket and it'll go inside. How many caskets can normally fit inside a just, hearse? Just, just one. one. Okay. Yes. Kala kung like halimbawa, uh, two infants or two children, um, pwede ba yun isiksik sa loob or Pwede, pwede bang <laughs> it depends on uh, preference for the family. If, if two caskets, children caskets can fit inside, yes, we can do that if you want the family. Okay. So, this is the back? Yes, you can put it up to the middle, up to, all, up to all the way in the back. Okay. I like the hearse. Yes, this one. I want it in my office. Your hers. Oh! <laughs> is it for sale? Oh, uh, we're raffling it off! Okay. You want this visit? Of course, it goes with it. That is so cool. Over here, you have grief support. And after the funeral is done, you know, na yung patay, there's still like support that checks up on you and asks how you're doing so that the members left behind by the department have, you know, someone to take care of them while they go through grief and all this on all these stages of after having someone left their life here on earth. Wow, now they have it in rings. Oh. Yeah. So we've just started using these in Australia. We've got the bracelets in it. Like there's a braided, there's a smooth, and there's a cord. Okay. Um, and then these are where the ashes are kept inside the barrel. Right. This is it. It obviously can't fit my, my finger. It's a little bit too big. She told me that you can customize whatever stone you want here, like depending on, I don't know, your birthstone or whatever. Or I guess depends on what the family likes as well. So yeah, you can put the remains in here. That's so cool. <laughs> 
called memory glass. I'm not sure how exactly this works. This is actually, any colors that you see in here are colored glass. Guys, this is where the remains are, and the rest are just uh, glass, you said, right? Yes, glass. The rest are just colored glass. Right. It's cool. Legos. This is an embalming room. Okay, this is the. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, I don't know this. This is at a funeral. It's amazing. Oh my gosh. It's cute. This is a Lego hearse, which is so cool. So I asked the girl over here if there was a casket inside, and. Yes, there is. Oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right back in. Thank you. Okay, guys, so. Bereavements. Guys, another round of dad jokes coming up. So. Bereavements now. Tried, like, really tried. Guys, this is amazing. You can turn your remains into a tree. Ano na ba tayo na to dad sa Pilipinas? Wala pa. But this is amazing. Amazing technology. Yeah. Okay. The spirit is. You put the seeds and the remains outside. You plant them. There's like a tree of your choice here. I okay. would to die. I think I want a red maple tree, maybe. Oh, my ashes can be a tree, Dad. Isn't that cool? It is. <laughs> Hope we can have technology or this technique when we. Um, when we go back home. Biodegradable fern planting system. Exactly. That is another form of reincarnation, I think, because you're dead and you come back to life just in a different form. That's real cool. That's gonna be real cool if this concept goes back home. We do need more trees in the city. Guys, since you might be wondering how a casket feels like, um, of course you can't feel it right now, but I will show you. This casket is made of... Maple. Okay, so solid, of maple solid maple wood. It has a drawer in here. Can keep, I don't know, photos or whatever memorabilia the deceased has. If you come closer, um, it's a little bit It's well cushioned. And it's um, um, deceased. And this is the pillow. Okay, it's a little bit It's a little bit It's a It looks soft. Okay. Yeah. At the same time, it's so sad to be gone, but I had it experience when I was eight. The photos right there, and I remember it was really soft. So I think it would have been the same experience if I didn't alive, of course. So ko yun yung meron na kung drawer. Siguro mga ano ko deepest darkest secrets ko dito ko ililibin kasi para close forever when I die. Guys, the game changer. On a sleep like Sleeping Beauty, there's a transparent casket over here. So look at that. You just have the accents at the back. Look at the back and in the front and on the side also. I think this casket is made of acrylic. I don't know, personally, I wouldn't want anyone to look at me like that. I think it's a cool thing at the same time. So, and you've got rose gold. I don't miss you to you rose gold. It looks more elegant for me. Alright, so that's it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.